The mitochondrial impairment by itself causes more inflammation, but it also causes the neurons to become more fragile, what I call metabolic fragility. That makes them more vulnerable to whatever type of insult. The best example of that is migraine headaches. So patients with migraine headaches have brain inflammation and we could say they have mitochondrial dysfunction or we could say they have weak mitochondria. Because their mitochondria are more fragile, that makes the entire brain more fragile and more vulnerable to hormonal fluctuations, stress, light exposure, etc. So hopefully that makes sense. Just remember, within your brain, you have immune cells. When those immune cells sense some type of inflammatory trigger, we call that glial activation or microglial activation. The result of that is more glutamate, which excites the neurons, and also mitochondrial impairment. Let me just show you very quickly here. These are neurotransmitter receptors, and the, the one that's colored in orange is what we call a glutamate receptor. So it receives glutamate. When it receives glutamate, calcium enters into the cell, and the consequence of that is stimulation of the neuron. We, of course, want our neurons to be stimulated at times because we want to remember things, we want to think. So part of that's just a normal process. But too much excitation of those glutamate receptors can cause seizures, it can cause brain damage. And so that's our concern with brain inflammation. Okay, so this is the last of the complicated slides I'm gonna show you, and then we'll run through the last few slides, which were just to provide a little more context and info, uh, information, not inflammation. So I mentioned kynurenines just a second ago. This is a little bit complicated if you try to memorize all the details, which I don't think you need to memorize. You just want to get the concept here. The concept of the kynurenine pathway is that it's activated by inflammatory insults. And when this kynurenine pathway becomes activated, it converts dietary tryptophan, just the amino acid tryptophan that you're all used to, it converts tryptophan into toxic substances.